So this area that we have here is going to be called Mount, and Mount is military operations and urban terrain. So does any 200 know what we use Mount for? Or can I go into it? Just like room plan? Room plan. Room plan, okay. Another example? Just um, urban confined spaces, like streets. Yeah, yeah, in a broad sense, yep. If you have, if you have to look into a building, like peek into a window. Okay, yeah, peek in, so keyword there would be pine a window. Um, so basically, today what we're going to be practicing is coming around. Well, the three, the four things we're going to do in our stacking, cornering, pieing, and room clearing. Okay, so what we're going to do, Jack Carson will take over. He's going to explain the positions, and then we're going to move it to uh, that music for the other part. All right, y'all. Yeah. Uh, let's put you all into the fire team, which typically is going to be four people. So I'm just going to go right here, so you three. And then I'm going to add one more person, don't worry. But uh, let's come over here. We're going to take you guys through a little journey. We're going to start off behind this wall. All so oh, y'all go, go over there to file in on the grass. All right, so first, you guys need to know uh, how to get into position. So let me get those first four people just line up in a line against the wall. Uh, if one of you all jump in there. Okay. So, your mount team, uh, you're gonna have three different positions. This first person is gonna be your point man. Next, we have the defense man. Third, that's the team lead. Uh, yeah, just notice they're actually not in the front, they're like right here. And this is your defense man. So, y'all probably know this already, but your point. You're gonna want to make sure you keep an eye on everything in front of you. Keep everyone safe. This defense man right here, they defend what you call the flank, which is just like this whole side area, right? And then team lead. Obviously, you're the leader, so make sure your team is doing well. But also, you want to cover the top. So, if you're in an urban environment, that means buildings. Check all those top windows, snipers, all that stuff. And then defense man, very important. Watch the rear, always, always keep an eye on that. You don't want to get caught off guard. And that is your basic position. Does anyone have any questions about that? So let's review really quick. Uh, who are you? Uh, the point man. You? Yeah. Defenseman. Team leader. Defense. All right. What was the second one again? Defenseman. Defenseman. Okay. All right. Yeah, thank you. Mixed it up. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, thank you. Oh, what did I say? You said yeah. defense. Oh yeah, rear seat. My bad. Thanks for correcting that. So, let's do that one more time. Point man, defense team. Team leader. All right, good. So, yeah, got it. so, you guys know the positions they defend. Everyone's good on that. Yeah. All right. So no one's getting shot. All right. <laughs> I think uh, next we go into. Uh, now we're gonna go into yeah. stacking. Yeah. So Cadet Carter just covered all the position names and your fires are sex. Your sex is a fire. So what you guys are responsible for covering and so just keep your eyes on that sex on the sections at all times and so now i'm going to cover uh stacking so this is what you're going to use when you're moving along the side of the wall and you're going to want to stay six to 12 inches away from the wall of the building at all times so that's in case someone's inside you don't want to let the enemy know that you're out here and you can use this when you have three to four people and then i think what else am i missing for this yeah, so basically you just want to stay pretty close to each other. You're going to stay about, about shoulder width apart, basically. You want to be close enough to tap on you them. You all want to be corner. touching at the same time. And then this is just when you're moving along. So you're all yes, going to be do. moving forward along the side of a building at the same time. And then just keep your eyes where they're supposed to be, depending on your position. And then that's it for stacking. Yeah, that would be it for Next stacking. One. So we're going to move into a little bit of movement. So we'll cut around the corner here. Uh, let's have this fire team come over here and y'all step aside. So you can see how y'all line up. Yeah, one more person. <laughs> yeah, we just, one of y'all fall okay. in at the end to them. And you can post your uh, bottle on the uh, staircase over there. Yeah. So two hands on the weapon. So what we're going to do next is basically in mount, when you're coming around a corner, if y'all want to step this way, actually, like, I'll show you guys. And uh, Cadet Blevins over here. So if y'all want to circle up just a little bit, if you can see. So when we're cutting a corner, right now what we're going to practice is a two-man cut. So all we're going to be doing is I'll have my weapon, and that Bubbins will have his weapon, and you'll have this foot about right here. And so what we're going to do is we're going to peek around the corner. We're checking for enemies, all right? So we're not going to send all four. What we're going to do is just send two, 
That way we can see what's around the corner. So the movement is I'm going to tap on Cadet Blevins' leg with my uh, elbow, my left elbow, depending on which knee you have down. And Cadet Blevins will respond by tapping on my elbow with his knee. So go ahead. Yep. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to step, and I'm coming this way, and Cadet Blevins will be stepping. His left foot will be stepping almost out here. But you want to make sure you have a good balance. So make sure you're, when you're stepping out, you're coming, and you're kind of dropping your body weight. That way you're not tipped over or anything. You got it? Yeah, question. Um, so when you're peeking around if they're right corner, do you have to switch hands? Like when you're, like, your right hand? Uh, well, I mean, most, I believe most of you guys are right-handed, if I can see from here. So what you're going to do is you're going to have your gun right here anyways. And if this leg will depend how far your gun's going to flow out. Okay. So if you want to take that step, and you kind of want to have one shoulder on the wall, and one shoulder peeking over. Okay. It's almost like Call of Duty kind of thing. You're just mounting on the wall, peeking around the corner. Okay. Y'all got it? So let's practice that. So just two people. It doesn't really matter who. So the first two, y'all give it a try. <laughs> so just, yeah, as soon as he gives a movement. That's good. That's good. I see you have the pistol, so it's a little bit different. But you kind of just want to step a little bit closer to him. And when you're stepping, you're stepping in front. In front of, okay. No, over. Oh. Okay. Y'all got it? Stepping in front. All right, one more time, we'll move on. That's good. That's fine. Yeah. Make sure you step in a little bit forward. So next two, like one. Y'all two can come over here on this side. We're going to move into something else after this. It's on you guys. That was better. That was better. So you see how his legs are super far extended? So try to move your stance in right on top of her, right? And you're going to take that big step. Yeah, go ahead. So move your back leg in just a little bit. And better. Better. All right, let's move on. Next two. You just stay back. Get the camera last time. Good. One more time. Good. All right. Last two. It's on you guys. Good. One more time. Try to get the timing right. Yeah, he's got the gangster style. Like that. <laughs> <laughs> Try to keep it straight, though. Try to keep it straight. That's better. That's good. All right. So we need a five. Team stacked right here. Doesn't matter what four. We're gonna go over pieing the window. It's gonna be pretty simple. So just any four right here. If you're not in, just step step this way. Okay. Okay. Grab it. Alright, Jack Carson. Alright, so fine. Uh, it's not about two. I wish it was. But basically, you want to check inside of this house, right? You don't want to get shot. So essentially, you start right here. And uh, so when you're at this angle, you want to check everything right here, right? And then you kind of just like sidestep it, uh, check everything. And then once you're here, you know. You're done. But, you know, I've never done this in active duty or whatever, but we did have someone uh, who has, and he, one of the tips he said is, uh, you know, to keep it interesting, you can like name off stuff that you see in the building. So the next person who comes, they kind of know, have an idea of what to expect. So you all can go ahead and try that. It's uh, pretty simple. Just make sure, be aware, be purposeful with it. All right, let's so while while he's going, y'all are still in your position. So rear security is still turned around, getting rear. You're still getting top flank, so you can point your gun upward, and then you're going to be facing almost outward. As soon as he gets Come to the on. end, you step in. Now you fill in for her. Y'all got it. So the next position will fill in. So now he's getting flank and rear. And you're looking out. At this so you're looking out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. looking up. You got you got ba once they're gone, you got a lot more field vector that you got to take care of. Yeah. So now you take care of go to pine. And now you're getting back to this way and you're getting forward. He's still getting rear. That way every position is covered. All right, hit it. And then Ethan, when he's hitting this part, you're going to be getting rear. Okay. You're going to be looking at the rear while he's coming this way. Another thing, maybe uh, try to give each other a little more room to work. All right, next three. Kind of roll up. Yeah, y'all can move. <laughs> no, when y'all fall back and get in there with them. Doesn't matter. That's fine. All right, it's on you. So you're you're high top. You're looking oh. up high. Yep. Now you go. There you go. So as soon as they as soon as they cut that last part, you should kind of sense it. You start turning around and going that way. <coughs> Good. Yeah. So uh, while they're doing that, this basic review again. So. Good. Point yeah, gun down. Uh, gun down. No, you're gonna get rear one here. Alright, move. 
Yeah, you're back in the window. You got that? Right. And then once he comes back, you're back in the window. Alright, next, we're gonna go to this station. So keep moving on here again. Alright, so on your first floor. Actually, I'm gonna take. Now we're gonna go through today. Alright, so we're gonna go through today. Y'all can come over here if you wanna. Yeah, you guys can come and watch all of us. So, okay, yeah. We're just gonna show you guys how it's done first. So, can anyone tell me what Kadekahani is? His name is since he's the first one. He's a point man. And then mine position? Defenseman. Team leader. Team leader. Team security. Perfect. Okay, so we're all lined up really closely, and then he he has to be sure not to peek over at all. So nothing has to be showing. And then we all have to be touching very closely, and then we have to be sure not to touch the wall at all in case any enemies are inside. And so we have to have the tapping system down to signal when to go. But when we go inside, number one is going to go either straight to the left or the right, and then my position, I'll go opposite of him. And then third person will go just um, diagonal in the corner, and then the fourth person will stay and have the rear security the whole time. And then before we come out, we're just going to yell that our position is clear. And we're just going to demonstrate because it's going to get kind of confusing. All right. Y'all got it? So look, one, two, three, four. All right. Watch us. One clear. Two clear. Three clear. One out. Name should have eleven. Two out. Two out. Three out. And as soon as we come out, we're falling back into a fire station. So like now I'm pointing, so you see I'm already pointing forward, he's pointing outward, he's pointing up, and Cadet Blevins is still kind of getting the rear, but he's kind of catching up with us so as soon as we move out. And we're going into pieing and the cornering and all that. Y'all got it? Anything else to add on? <laughs>